welcome back to Unwinding Roads. My name is Teddy. Today we are going over the Vivor diesel heater. Vivor was kind enough to send this diesel heater to me to test it out. And we're gonna go over the unit itself, the setup, how much diesel it uses, how much power it uses, the extra things you'll need to buy, as well as my overall impressions of the diesel heater. So let's get this thing together. I posted on my Instagram about getting the Vivor diesel heater and asked if anyone had any tips about running this thing. You all came through with your own experiences about getting this thing going and what to look out for. First thing was to secure the tank and check all the nuts and bolts. There were a couple of loose ones. I then went ahead and installed the air in duct and exhaust. Installed the air filter and secured the air intake duct to the frame with a zip tie. Once it was all together, I let it run for about 10 hours to burn off any fumes it may have. At first startup, this unit was extremely easy to use. I powered it up and waited for the heater to get going. Once running, I burned a full tank of fuel at level 7 of 10, and it took about 10 hours. Start heating. Alright, something I forgot to mention was the muffler. I did not install the muffler, as you can still see it's in the packaging. Uh, the reason why I didn't do it is I got multiple messages from people saying that the muffler can cause it to suit up. I don't really mind the sound of the exhaust. Again, it's that low pitched fan sound that, you know, I don't mind it. Up to you whether or not you want to use the muffler, it does come with it. It's not an extra or anything like that. And so my overall impressions of the diesel heater is I do love it. The air you get is a nice dry heat. The sound it makes is a nice white noise. You have a couple of different options. You can leave the fan running the whole time or you can switch it to turn off and on uh, at a set temperature. I have used the diesel heater quite a bit now and I haven't really had any issues with it. The only issue I had, and I don't know if it's user error, but the tank itself collapsed as if it was there's suction or something. I also ran out of diesel on one of the nights. It seems as if the first night it only uses about a liter and then the next night it'll use three or four liters. Again, I'm sure it's user error. I'm still trying to figure it all out. I would say the five liter tank that this comes with will last you one night for sure easily and uh, you should probably top it off before the, the second night rolls around. As far as power, this uses very little power. It's about 14 to 20 watts of power. Actually, let me get my Blue Yeti that I run this off of. There's one thing I do have to go over. So the all-in-one unit is going to come with the wire and a 20 amp fuse. This cigarette 
plug is a 10 amp, or I believe it's a 15 amp cigarette style plug. And the Blue Yeti puts out 10 amp. This is important. I believe some battery packs come with an 8 amp uh, output and that will not be enough to get this thing started. Once it's started, it uses very little power, but to get it going, you're gonna want that 10 amp power. So make sure your battery pack is capable of doing that. Another key feature I love, especially when we were using it in the tent trailer, and it'll be the same in uh, a rooftop tent, is the remote. I use the remote all the time. Once you get it going, you can go up and down and uh, turn it on, turn it off. Go from there. This particular unit also has the app. I found that I don't use the app as much as I thought I would. I didn't realize that it comes with the remote and the app doesn't do much more than what the remote control would do. The sound it makes, I've heard plenty of uh, reviews where they say that the ticking bugs them. It, I hate to sound like every other YouTuber, the ticking sound does not bug me at all. Uh, the, the sound of the fan is much louder, but it's a white noise, it actually sounds good. Uh, to fall asleep to that is, is really nice. It's just like a, a low-pitched fan sound. But overall, I've had no problems with it. If you decide to get one, the link is in the description. This is the all-in-one version. You will need to get a couple of 2 by 4s to lift it high enough that the exhaust won't burn whatever it's sitting on. And you'll have to get some sort of plug if that's what you're going to be doing. You'll most likely also need a dryer hose. I couldn't find a three inch one locally. This is a four inch one and I had to buy some adapters for it. Online on Amazon you can find the three inch ones. The one that it comes with is only like two feet long so you'll most likely have to buy one of these. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was informative. If you have any questions let me know in the comments. Um, if this uh, tank situation happen to you also let me know in the comments maybe I'm supposed to screw this off a little bit and let it vent or something I don't know you guys tell me until next time go away get lost and unwind